Hey, but I'm here with another quick video on how to make some currency or uh, save some currency at least. So for this video, I'll show you how to craft some flask. So I'll, as always, I will give you the uh, links for the website into the description. So for, for this, I picked up a couple of uh, flask just to show you how to do it. But you can uh, use whatever the flask uh, that you need. One cool thing is that whenever you're crafting flask is that you can actually craft flask for like other builds and stuff so maybe you can hit a uh, flask for uh, the mage blood builds and actually sell it for way more than you think uh don't mind the currency and the stuff on the sides it's just for uh some idea of a build i have uh, the only thing we'll focus on are the flask okay so <clears throat> if we go to this website as i said it will link it into the link link it into the description of the video this is a regex for the flask i've used it in a previous video for a beast now uh well i already highlighted what i want to do but you can highlight whatever you're looking for uh the reason why i highlighted those is that uh we're crafting flask for a mage blood build and for uh I like that mod too. Gain three charges when you're hit by an enemy. So what we'll do is just we, uh, yeah, as I said, we can click or unclick whatever, and then copy it. And if we go back to the game, just paste it in here. Okay. So one is al already highlighted. The reason why is that we have uh, gain three charges when you're hit by an enemy. Okay. <laughs> so as I said, whatever you're looking for, you can hit. You can find it here. Okay. And it will save you a lot of time if you do it like that. Then the second things we want to do is uh, we want to just uh, just cower every one of them because if you uh, if you remember, um, I, I, I've said before that quality I, stuff only gives one quality when it's uh, rare, two quality when it's uh, magic, and five quality when it's uh, just a yellow white item all white items so we'll quality them yeah it only takes four per then then we will just on them make them magic see this one is highlighted so increase evasion tier one right if we hit, uh, let, let's price check it. Like, uh, probably nothing, right? But if we hit any good uh, of the prefixes, will actually be money. I got to pick up those. All right, here, uh, charge recovery doesn't really think it does. All right, I guess it does. So yeah, it's, it's just like that, like 200 chaos, maybe a divine. So we'll set that one aside, right? I don't know why charge recovery would be that good, but uh, the increase of vision is pretty cool. So we'll go to the next one, right? We use all orbs of alteration and then just click. You don't even have to look at them, right? If they're not highlighted, it means it doesn't. You don't have one of the two, at least one of the two of those, right? And that's what we're looking for right now. As I said, you can make something different from mine, but this is what I would use if you're trying to make as much money as possible. Right? Okay, and then we spam yeah, we spam those alt until we hit something. See, we got one. Okay, what is it? Okay, increase cast speed. Alright, cool. So we'll try to get something. Increase duration. I don't think it matters much, but still, like it's 40 if you hear it look here. 40 chaos, right? And this costs uh, alteration shard, like orb of augmentation and uh transmutation shard. So it's pretty much nothing, right? And then uh, we'll list it maybe for, uh, let's see, 35 chaos maybe. Let's say this one for uh, 180, but you can price it uh, higher price too. Because uh, some of the times those flask, uh, depending on the time of the day, they will not be, uh, right? Like the one at 200 chaos, it won't be out online at the same time as we are, right? So maybe uh, if, we, if we put it at uh, 220 chaos, we still sell it, right? So if, if you would need money, just cut. And make sure you're the lowest price but if you're just like playing and uh, whenever it pops up you will sell it you can enlist it at a higher price also there's price fixing as i've said before uh okay see hit hit 
Preservation and crit. Dude, this is pretty good. Huh. Okay, not as good as I thought, but. Tax on it. Five. It was 55 instead. Okay, maybe it will. So we'll reroll this one. Uh, this one increased elemental resistance. It's tier one. So we'll just. Uh, oops. We'll just upgrade it. Increase the effect, right? So this is for the mage blood. See how easy it is? You don't need to check the reduced version, but still. 100 chaos using stuff which are worth like what? I use it for like 2 chaos over total. So. <clears throat> Just make sure when you do this that you actually use item level 84 or 85. And the reason why is that uh, the, the tier 1... Uh, the regex the tier one odds or uh 80 all 84 it's except i think the movement speed one is 85 okay so there yeah we roll again hey what's that one movement speed and charge recovery okay or any chaos maybe crit and max charge i'm not sure about that one um, we'll still list it like let's see if it, where the heck is immune to corrupted blood and gain tree charges i'm not sure the gain tree charge is cool but maybe listed for... yes i don't know then we we'll that would last one I don't think uh, we'll keep rolling over it. Entry charges. Okay, hopefully we get something good with it. Nope. See how easy it is. We you we don't even have to read what's when it's highlighted. It means okay, fine. Now it's good. Sorry. Well, but anyway, um, let's say we listed for twelve. Okay, so with a bunch of uh, bubble gum currency, we just made like I don't know two divines worth of the uh, flask, or maybe one point five. And as I said, the cool thing is that you can craft for your own. So you craft from profit while you're upgrading your gear. Hopefully, this uh, helps you. And you can make some profit. Take care, guys.